Hello friends, welcome to my channel Made by Yuma. In today's tutorial, we are going to see a beautiful crochet earring pattern. Let's see what are the things we need for this tutorial. We need an anchor thread, pearl cotton thread of size 8 and a crochet hook of size 1 mm. Then the earring hoops along with the loops. So let's get started. Take the tail end of the thread and make a slip knot so you can refer my crochet basics video for making a slip knot as well as the basic stitches then continue to make chain 12 So then we are going to form a circle by making a slip stitch into the very first chain. Wrap the yarn and pull through the loop we have on the hook. So this forms a circle. Then make chain 3. This is one double crochet. This is considered as one double crochet. Then continue to make a double crochet into the circle. Then make another double crochet. Then make another double crochet. So continue to make double crochets until we have 32 double crochets in total. So friends, I am uh, going to show you a tip on how to hide the tail end. While making the double crochet, you can work along with the tail end so that it gets hidden. So now you can see it's not seen at all. Instead of uh, working at the end of the project, you can just make the stitches along with the tail end. I will meet you once I am done with 32 double crochets at the end of this round. So friends 32 double crochet is complete. Let's make a slip stitch at the third chain which is at the beginning of this round. and make a slip stitch round one is complete let's make round two round two make chain three uh, again this chain three is considered as one double crochet into the next chain insert the hook and make a double crochet now continue to make five chains chain one two three four and five then skip the next chain and make a double crochet into the second chain and then make another double crochet into the next chain space Then make 
one more double crochet into the next chain space now let's make chain 5 chain 1 chain 2 chain 3 chain 4 chain 5 and then skip one chain that is the next chain and make a double crochet into the second chain then make another double crochet into the next chain space so one more double crochet into the next chain space so three double crochet in three different chains so this is the pattern we are going to repeat all through making chain of five then three double crochets in three different chains then skip one chain and then repeat pattern so i will continue to do this round and i will meet you at the end of this round So I'm working on the last double crochet. So skip chain 1 and make a double crochet. Remember at the beginning of this round we just made 2 double crochet. So this is the third double crochet. And let's complete this round by making a slip stitch into the third chain from the base. So guys round 2 is also complete now let's work on round 3 for round 3 continue to make chain 2 and then a half double crochet into the space that is the chain 5 space in the previous round make a half double crochet there then continue to make 7 double crochet into the chain space 1 2 this is the third double crochet, fourth double crochet, fifth double crochet, sixth double crochet, and then seventh double crochet. Then make a half double crochet into the same chain space now make chain 2 and then a single crochet at the center part then continue to make chain 2 and then a half double crochet into the next chain space continue to make 7 double crochet and then a half double crochet then make chain 2 and then a single crochet at the center so we're going to repeat this pattern all throughout this round so we're going to finish this round by making a slip stitch at the top of the single crochet so this completes the earring pattern then pull up the yarn to about 2 inches long and then cut the yarn. Now let's work on hiding the tail end at the back side. So insert the hook into adjacent loops and pull the thread 
repeat this process for about 4 to 5 times and then cut the excess yarn we can optionally apply starch at the fluff side of the pattern to make it a very stiff but uh, it's totally optional so once it is applied let it dry for about 20 to 25 minutes or until it is totally dry and then we can cut the excess thread at the flip side so now uh, the earring pattern is totally dried let's connect it to the earring hook And that's it our beautiful earring is ready hope you like this tutorial so you can use this uh, pattern to make a crochet coaster as well with a bigger size yarn and uh, thank you for watching this tutorial please share it with your friends and family if you really like this video take care bye bye